Hello Capricorn and welcome to your October 2018 Let's Spy on Your Ex video. This is for Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn's ex? What is going on with Capricorn's ex for October? 2018. If this resonates with you, Capricorn, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Please keep in mind that these are general readings and sometimes the energies can be vice versa, okay? This is for Capricorn. For October 2018, what is going on with Capricorn's ex? What is going on with Capricorn's ex, okay? Okay, so I feel like they want a second chance here, and they're not telling you that, all right? A final decision was made, but they do want a second chance here, um, but they're not expressing that to you, okay? This has been very difficult for them, just so you know, all right? We have judgment at the bottom of the deck. So the situation is, you know, they're trying for a new beginning. They're trying to work on themselves. They're trying to move past it, but, you know, and, you know, start fresh, start a new beginning here. But they're having a really hard time. And I feel like, you know, they want to come in for a reconciliation. They want to come in for a new beginning, a second chance here but they are just they're they're in like this depression right now okay um how do they feel okay they're they're working on themselves i think they're trying to improve they are very laser focused on the situation with you i feel like this is you know you see how he's just looking at that one pinnacle and all those other pinnacles are all around him but all he can see is just this one right here it's almost like it's obsessive all right but at the same time they're not doing anything about it um i feel like they're just not only completely and totally their thoughts are with you and they're completely focused on you, but they're just kind of burying themselves in their work right now. Maybe they're trying to heal. Maybe they're trying to fix themselves. Maybe they're ready to put work into the situation. But I feel like this um, obsessive thinking here, right? What action will they take? I don't think they're going to be taking any action here, okay? What they want and what they're showing you are two completely different things here, okay? Um, there's a lot of sadness here. They're um, full of regrets with this situation. This is, um, this is a lot of regrets here. And maybe, you know, they're trying to work on themselves and better themselves so they can be better for you. They're having a really hard time taking any chances here, taking any risks. They're having a hard time with this new beginning here. They're having a hard time. Um, a lot of sadness here, a lot of depression. They're focused on all of this past energy, all of these spilled cups that happen between the two of you they can't see any other they can't see anything else they can't turn around just like with this card they can't see anything else 
right? Laser focused on the situation with you and here the same thing. Laser focused on the this sadness, this loss here. They can't turn around and see these cups over here. They can't see all these other pinnacles floating around them, right? They can't see anything else. Five of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The outcome is they're not telling you any of this. They're being very dishonest with you. They're not telling you how they feel. They're not telling you they want a second chance. Um, they're not even being honest with themselves. They're just in this um, sadness right now. They're focused on regrets and, and what they should have done and what they could have done and, and um, just this history here. A lot of sadness here and they are just faking it. Seven of Swords here. This is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is dishonest behavior. And maybe this is the kind of behavior uh, which led to the two of you splitting up in the first place, right? But they're not being honest with you about how they're feeling or how bad that they took the loss. But it's pretty bad. And they're not, I, they're not being very honest with themselves here either, in my opinion. All right, so please clarify the outcome for Capricorn's X. Please clarify that Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here, please? Please help us to see very clearly. Please clarify the outcome for Capricorn's X. Yeah, they're being very blocked off, you see? They can't let go of the situation here. They can't let go and their heart is blocked they're not letting anyone in and they're not sharing their emotions with anyone you see how he has that pinnacle acting like it's a shield up against his chest and he's holding on tight holding on tight she's holding on tight right either way four of Pentacles this is earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn they can't let go of this situation, and they're not telling you about it. They would love a new, fresh new start with you, but they're not saying anything. They're not telling you this. They, The regret in this situation is very strong, okay? You made them very happy, and they want it back. They want this happiness back, right? They want to start fresh, but they, they're not making any moves. And at the same time, they can't tell you. They, and they can't let go of this. All right, this is for Capricorn's X. What is going on with Capricorn's X? For October 2018. What is going on with Capricorn's X? What is going on with Capricorn's X for October 2018? What is going on with Capricorn's X? Yeah. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. And they simply can't let it go. That's the problem right why because you made them feel good you made them feel young they, again they had fun with you you made them very happy to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine They're, they are not happy right now that is for sure they want this back right but they're stuck in this state of sadness, of loss, of depression. And they're not making any moves. They're not saying anything. They're not making any moves. But they can't let it go. They can't let it go. All right, Capricorn, that is what is going on with your ex. All right. 
So, um, I'm not offering any private readings right now. Um, there's a lot of people that keep, you know, still emailing me for private readings, but I will make an announcement when I am ready. It's probably going to take me a couple of months um, to do what I need to do. I'm working on other projects, so um, if and when I do start accepting private readings, I will most definitely let you all know. Um, uh, let's see. Yes, um, Sunday through Thursday, I go live with a daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time, so check that out. Friday is the live Love Luster Loss show, so check that out. That's also around noon Eastern Standard Time. And next week, I will be getting out the November 2018 monthly readings. I'm very excited about that. Hopefully these energies can kind of um, speed up a little bit. I feel like it's been dragging on and on. All right, so you all take very good care of yourselves, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Have a great week, and God bless.